Hello and welcome to Clay to Canopy, the show where I attempt to make just about everything from the ground up. I am going to be making this miniature cat couch. Now the first thing I did was to trace the original cat scratcher that I had which was actually a cardboard cat scratcher and I used it as a template to make this guy out of it. Using my template I went ahead and cut four of the front profile and one of the back profiles. To be sure that I had nice and even pieces, I just cut out one form and sanded that one down to make sure that it was nice and smooth and then used that one form as a template. I used a router to flush trim all of my other pieces. I then used one by three spacers to create a skeletal form which would give me a base to go ahead and upholster off of. Since I didn't really have a plan for this particular piece, I just kind of went off of the rough measurements that the cardboard scratcher provided and then from there just kind of winged it. After assembling my wood pieces together, I then padded the entire thing with some leftover foam. Once I staple gunned the foam, I went in with some quilters batting to gain a smoother surface over the foam and then follow that up with some muslin just to hold all of the stuffing in together. Once the muslin was on and everything was secure, I went in with my fabric of choice and this particular fabric that I'm using is actually pet resistant. It's a micro suede that is designed to resist cat claws so that I don't have to worry about any scratching and whatnot on the piece itself. It didn't really matter what the interior part was going to look like because I knew I was going to be sewing in a cushion for it so I could hide any little imperfections towards the back end. As long as my side armrests were fine, then I was going to be good to go. While I was upholstering, I made sure that I left the front edge clean because I knew I'd be putting a small facing over the front. That small facing got glued on with some liquid nails. Before making the cushions, the next step I did was to put on some trim to cover over those areas where I didn't want to see any of the glue that might have spun out from joining that front piece. Once that was complete, I moved on to making my legs. Just using small 2x2 two two pieces, I shaped the legs and then screwed them onto a bottom board that I had previously spray painted with a metallic spray paint. Once the legs were secure, I could then screw the bottom part to the, the sofa and move on to making my seat cushions. After taking some measurements off of the inside part of the sofa, I then created the two cushions to sit on top of them.
that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already, and hope to see you soon.